Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Aaron Fitzgerald surprises New Yorkers. NASA selects 11 American companies to improve lunar landers. And EASA certifies DARS TBM 940. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. Aerobatic pilot and former U.S. serviceman Aaron Fitzgerald stunned onlookers in New York last weekend when he performed an impromptu performance over the Hudson River. He performed flips, loops, barrel rolls, and dives in front of the Statue of Liberty, Battery Park, and alongside the West Highway. Due to the Red Bull helicopter's use of a unique rigid titanium rotor, it's able to perform the maneuvers by allowing the pilot to reverse airflow through the rotor without damage. With the Beth Page Air Show coming up on May 25th and 26th at Jones Beach State Park, Fitzgerald wanted to give the people of New York City a taste of what's to come. Fitzgerald was introduced to helicopter aerobatic flying back in 2017 and joined the Flying Bulls that same year. Stick around, we'll be right back with Around the Patch. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. If you have any story suggestions for this, any of our other programming or website, send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry in today's trip around the patch. Pilatus and its authorized centers are once again taking orders for the PC-24 with delivery positions programmed for late 2020 and 2021. The PC-24 fleet as a whole has clocked in more than 5,000 safe airborne hours and their base price is $10.7 million. Last Friday, the Sikorsky HH-60W Combat Rescue Helicopter took its first flight at the company's facility in West Palm Beach, Florida. Its total flight time was 1.2 hours and included hover control check and a pass of the airfield. The helicopter is designed for U.S. Air Force rescue missions. Honda Aircraft is investing an additional $15.5 million in a new 82,000 square foot facility to expand its headquarters in Greensboro, North Carolina. Groundbreaking is scheduled for July, and this brings the company's total capital investment in its North Carolina facilities to more than $245 million. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association has published its first quarter 2019 aircraft shipment and billing reports. The results showed increases across the airplane segments of the industry, but a slowdown in rotocraft shipments. The piston airplane market led the increase in deliveries at 248 units, a 24% increase from 2018. Turboprop and business shipments also increased year-over-year year at 7% and 6.8%. Piston rotorcraft shipments in the first quarter of 2019 were 66 units. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Hey! We're on the way. 
NASA has selected 11 companies to help put American astronauts on the moon's south pole by 2024 and establish sustainable missions by 2028. Through the Next Space Technologies 4 Exploration Partnerships, or Next Step, the companies will study or develop human lander prototypes during the next six months for NASA's Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. NASA's proposed plan is to transport astronauts in a human landing system. That includes a transfer element for the journey from the lunar gateway to low lunar orbit, a descent element to carry them to the surface, and an ascent element to return them to the gateway. The agency is also looking at refueling capabilities to make these systems reusable. Each company was awarded $45.5 million. And since Next Step is a private and public partnership program, companies are required to contribute at least 20% of total project cost. EASA has certified the DAR TBM 940, allowing for deliveries to begin. The 940's Airworthiness Authority approval comes two months after the aircraft's launch in March. With 25 orders already booked, deliveries will begin in Europe and Asia, followed by North America and other markets after FAA certification. As DAR's top-of-the-line TBM version, the 940 features an automated throttle and icing detection system, installed for the first time on a standard production turboprop aircraft, weighing less than 12,500 pounds. The cabin style has also been updated. DAR is highlighting its service program, TBM Care, as well as the latest version of Me and My TBM cloud-based app. EASA certification paperwork will be formally provided this week during eBase. And that's our show for today. As always, don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And if you want the most recent aviation and aerospace news, check out aero-news.net. Have a wonderful day.